Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling Arise. So for those of you guys who don't know, I have been releasing a bunch of videos going over the best build for individual SSR characters. So in today's video, we are going to be focusing on Lim Tegu over here. Now if you guys want to check out my previous video, I have gone over the best build for Trojan In, the best build for COG Wu, and the best build for Min Byok Gu as well. So I will be making more videos on like Baek Yun Ho, as well as Lee Bora, and the, the free SSR Wu Jing Chu in the future. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will be releasing more content around solo leveling since this game is absolutely insane and I can't wait for global launch. And when global launch comes out, more videos will be pumping out and honestly may is going to be an amazing month for me because i literally will have a lot of time to spend on this game now even if weather wave is coming out i just love solo leveling a lot more in terms of the ip and what the game is at right now like in, in the current state of the game now obviously we do need to fix the gold issue and uh, resources to level up your weapon resource um issue as well but still i think when global comes out i am willing to bet that the devs will fix all of the issues we have hopefully finger crossed so yeah stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arrive if you guys enjoyed this video find this helpful then go ahead and click the like button let's go ahead and get 60 likes in today's video you guys have been smashing the like goal so go ahead and show your support to the channel so Lim take you over here now is he my favorite SSR character to use I think he's the most unique um, SSR character to use because his play style is completely different from the rest of the other characters um, by the way first of all we're gonna go over his skills and then afterwards we will go over the best artifacts I will have a timestamp for you guys to also skip ahead if you don't if you don't want to understand his skills and you already understand it yourself then you can skip over to the artifact section and go over the best artifacts so I'm not really a fan of his playstyle, however, I only really use him in one content and that's when I'm fighting against Cerberus because he does really good damage against Cerberus and because the rest of my other characters, well, before before I had CG Wu, they were all fire characters and uh, didn't really perform well against the Cerberus. So Lim Tegu was my go-to character and honestly guys, he is really, really good, especially his ultimate. He really does insane amount of damage. So to understand what he does, his main mechanic is basically revolved around his basic attack and his core damage however you are going to be using his basic skills as well but do note this is like 12 seconds so you use this whenever you have the chance and this one just basically allows you to like uh it's like a dash basically so you can dash anywhere and you then do your core attack so Honestly guys, you definitely want to work on your core attack since it's going to be important to him and back basic attack as well. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to dash around. If you guys run out of dash, you can actually use the skill, which is why I like using him. It's very easy to maneuver with him if you time everything correctly and it's really fun. Second skill does great amount of damage, but the issue with this is that it has to stand for a couple of seconds and then do it. So sometimes I have an issue with this one, but sometimes if you time it right, you won't really have an issue with the boss trying to hit you at the same time as you're doing a skill. Now his special skill with his support skill over here basically does damage, break damage, and also applies boost to allies, which makes him a good character for a support role, but he only increases user's core attack, and not many characters really focuses on core attack at the moment, but in the future, this could be a great addition to like future characters we get. Maybe they will... And uh, utilize the core mechanic and this will be very very helpful for them but yeah this is really good and um, then going over to is QTE it does break damage that is light I do apologize for the background beeping noise that is I don't know what's happening but yeah apologies for that um yeah break damage isn't really good from this honestly the QTE yeah the great break damage is not good the damage is okay and then you go over to his ultimates, like I mentioned, pretty unique because it's not like a straight DPS. You have to do this ultimate and then you can stand still and shoot a bunch of arrows that does a pretty insane amount of damage. So you definitely want to level this up as well. And um, like I said, it's a pretty unique ability. So going over to the best build for him, since his main kit revolves around using his you know, basic attack, using his core attacks um, and also using his ultimate, Honestly, guys, this is probably one of the best build you can go with him. So it increases his basic attack damage by 18% because you will be using his basic attack a lot more. And then the full set basically increases core damage as well by 18%. And when the attack hits, charges core gauge by 60, which is perfect because that core gauge allows him to basically use his ultimates as frequently as possible. Now, instead, you could run um, the destroyer. Is it called destroyer? You could run, yeah, the destroyer set. But to be honest, only the, what this does is just allows you to 
you know use your ultimate fast but this one over here the solid foundation allows you to burst fast or sorry not burst to use your ultimate fast but at the same time increases your core attack and basic damage as well which in my opinion is a lot more better for him now focus on crit rate and crit damage for him as well so let me go ahead and show you my build right now so this is crit rate and crit damage um since you're going to be using a basic attack a lot so i do think you, you need to rec um you know level up his skills as well now you could go on over build with him so instead of using solid foundation or the destroyer set you could actually go ahead and use the one hit killer build which basically increases ultimate skill damage by 25 percent and decreases the ultimate skill de um, cooldown by 40 percent now if you are going to be using this one hit kill build you need to make sure that your other support characters or your other hunters have the destroyer set so that you can actually accumulate a power gauge a lot faster for the rest of your characters and then using this you will be able to you know make sure your ultimate does insane amount of damage but once again the issue with this build it only focuses on your damage from your ultimate but um i think making sure that the basic attack and core damage is good is also very important to him as well especially when i notice that with this artifact i am actually ulting a lot fast like a faster as well like get, um, charging core gauge by 60 is really very very helpful for him and let's not forget i do have other characters when i use Liam, i'm not only using this set on him i have other support characters that are using this set the destroyer set so i'm still getting an extra gauge acquisition um, bonus from my other characters so he's getting that plus this over here it actually works really well with him so i think that is really really um good um yeah so if i go over to skills actually it's a uh, passive sorry let me quickly check make sure everything's good applies magic boost so this is just for boost when a skill hits the user fights free magic arrow when the user's basic attack hits fires two yeah so look basic attack you're going to be using your basic attack a lot guys so and then you're going to use a core attack as well so i think honestly this is the best build for him i will try to improve this a bit i don't have any more gears okay hopefully i can get more builds for him now when it comes to the uh right side for the best artifacts like i said crit rate since you're going to be critting a lot if you build him appropriately and you're focusing on crit rate and crit damage you want to go ahead and give him this one over here since he also scales off his normal uh, his attack uses attack this is going to be one of the best for him as well when landing a crit hit has a 25 percent chance well at four sets has a 50 percent chance to increase attack by 1.6 percent so this is going to be very very useful as well uh, another one you could use um let's see nah not this one it doesn't really work well for him um you could go ahead and use the berserker or you can go ahead and use the executioner i, I think i prefer executioner in general more than the berserker set but i do think the best one for him is probably going to be the expert making sure that you land the crit rates and crit hit sorry and whatnot actually let me take a look at his um ssr weapon because um i don't have it right now but it is something that's uh I need to take a look at just to ensure that um, I'm building them right. So increase the dark damage by 4%. When you use a basic attack within 10 seconds after using quick, yep, yep, increases the attack by 6%. So yeah, he does need his basic attack, so I did build him right. And obviously, if you get his weapon, it's going to be really good for him as well. So yeah, um, yeah, I've gone over the best build. Like I said, it's kind of easy to build him as well. Um, so easy build for Lim Tegu, easy build for Ming Bongu and um yeah the rest of the other characters i made videos on you can have different builds but with lim Gu, honestly i think one of the recommended build will be the one i have right now for him so i do recommend you guys build this uh build him with that so i'm gonna quickly showcase him right now actually um if i go over to this uh, main rewards go over to tier 6 guys i, I i'm not really good against cerberus but like i said i can't use my fire characters so i, I use him instead gonna have to use i'm gonna use him as well so i got two break characters um he healer and lim Tegu. now the thing about um, this character actually is the build i have for him gives him attack buff to my characters and he also has a power acquisition and then his skill also has the ability to um what's it called recover hp and also increases crit rate and also um decreases um well increases damage taken to the enemy so it's going to be perfect so we're going to go in with this um let's go let's go so i'm going to show you guys how limited works um 
I I used to use him a lot against uh, Cerberus, but now that I got the Water Chick, COG, COG Wu, I am not using him that much anymore because his build is kind of, well not build, the way you play him is kind of different. So you use this, there you go. So you charge this, there we go. There we go. Use this. So look. So it is important that you just basic attack most of the time. Okay, there we go, maneuver. You obviously want to switch and stuff, but you can basically attack. There we go. There you go. And then there you go. So you got the ultimate, and now you just do this. The only issue I have with the ultimate is like I still have to move, but you can do a bunch of really good damage. There you go. So it's uh, in general, it's not like the best character to use against Cerberus, but if you don't have any other like water touch characters, then you can use him. So I'm gonna switch over to this guy, get some solid buff get this this is a crit rate buff and crit damage buff but this chick just slams bro okay let's go slam him in the face she's honestly the best one to use against Cerberus okay so that's why you see the damage of Skywalker with her but okay come on no no don't, no, don't die Liam there you go my friend there we go. Oh, I thought I maneuvered at the same time. I didn't. I oh, say, so look, we have the ultimate next. Perfect. As you can see, it's a really good and frequent ultimate. So most of his damage are kind of locked behind his ultimate, though, as you can see. So that's why you definitely want to ult as fast as possible. And then to ignore the pushback, you can use his ability like this. But we're going to need some heals. Oh, snap. Actually, it might be easy to use him for to ignore this and we're gonna get bombarded with this crap okay break perfect get the shield please use this we get the damage buff as well perfect limb come in for the clutch and yeah we need to get the hell out of that perfect and there you go we got his ultimate as well see look Perfect, we get his ultimate. This is literally the best build. It's so it's so easy. Ooh. Yeah, we died. Okay, but look, that's what I mean. You build him with that, but you have a support character that allows you to, you know, get your um ultimate. So I showcase that um when you're using Lim, honestly, you want to have support character with the destroyer set. Because when you have the destroyer set paired up with Lim's own gear, you will notice that you are able to use your ultimate as frequently as possible. Now the cooldown for his uh, ultimate is 45 seconds. If I take a look at other ones, it's all 45 seconds. Okay. But um, if you do the rotation pro pro properly, you will not use them as your main damage dealer. You use them as a support DPS. So you use his basic attack. You switch out of him. You use your other characters, your other hunters. And then by the time you switch back into him, you'll have your ultimate. So you use his ultimate, bam, bam, bam. You switch out of him. And then you use your other characters. You switch back into him. You will have his ultimate available. So you need to rotate him. He isn't really like a main DPS character because all of his damage, in my opinion, revolves around his ultimate skill. Um, other ones do great damage, especially with this ones. So you use him a little bit, obviously, and then you switch out of him and use your main DPS character. Switch back into him to use his ultimate. Now, you guys saw that for my rotations. Um, inside Cerberus over here. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful and overall useful. I've gone over the best build, the skills that are really good for him and the way to actually use him, the best teams as well. Um, I say best team, but like honestly just have him with a support character like Mean Bunku. It's been your boy AC Gamer and I'm out.